Welcome back everyone. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content. Welcome everyone to Citrix Administrator Interview Preparation Part 1. This section I will focus on HR and Citrix environment-based questions and answers. Make sure to subscribe for upcoming videos on Citrix technical and troubleshoot questions and answers. So without wasting any time let's jump to our first question. What do you know about our company? Please do some research about the company before you attend any interview. Tell them why you are interested to work in that organization. Talk about their products and services. Number of employees and the year of establishment. Why do you want to change your job? Based on your situation, it can be for better career opportunities. Or you can mention. My current project is coming to an end. What are some ticketing tools that you have experience working on? Define based upon your past experience. Following are some common ticketing systems. Service now. Right now. Salesforce. Jira. Remedy. Tell us about the Citrix environment you have worked on. Be prepared to answer this question. You can talk about how many farms you have supported, sites, number of users, applications, number of VDI machines, PVS and MCS, dedicated pools, number of controllers, zones etc. Customer industry that you have supported, it can be finance, manufacturing, insurance or banking, etc. How many members are in your current Citrix environment? Depends on the size of the project. Usually 8 to 10 people. Which versions of Citrix you have experience working on? You can define as. I have experience working on. Citrix Zenup 6. Zenup 6.5. Zenapp and Zendesktop 7 or 7.6. Zenapp and Zendesktop 7.15. Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktop 7.19.12 Please share your experience on Citrix product versions you have worked on. Above are just an examples. What is the difference between Citrix LTSR, Long Term Service Release, and CR, Current Release? Citrix Long Term Service Releases typically come out once every two or three years and are targeted for use in industries that tend to require a long test or certification process before deploying. While this slows the pace at which you can take advantage of new features, it offers a predictable maintenance cadence for ongoing fixes in the form of cumulative updates. Citrix Virtual Apps and Desktops current release typically has up to four releases per year and gives our on-premises customers access to new functionality and feature updates on a regular basis. CR customers can access new features quickly and adopt new releases as they see fit. Current releases will occur more frequently. Citrix thoroughly tests all new technology before releasing any feature to market, however, current releases signify new technology and fixes in one combined release. Long-term service releases will contain components and features that have been proven and well-established. What are the components in Citrix Zen App and Zen Desktop? The followings are components you can define. Delivery Controller Database Virtual Delivery Agent Citrix Storefront Citrix Receiver Citrix Studio Citrix Director Citrix License Server What are components of Citrix PVS? These can be Citrix Provisioning Database Citrix Provisioning Console Citrix Provisioning Servers License Server Network Services Farms Stores Sites what server virtualization platforms you have experience working on? Based on your past experience, it could be Citrix Zen Server Citrix Cloud VMware vSphere Or it can be Microsoft Hyper-V What are some prerequisites to install Citrix servers? The basic prerequisites includes .NET Framework Terminal Server License C++ how many delivery controllers you have or had in your environment? A minimum of two controllers required for load balancing purpose. Some environments have around 10 to 20 controllers. What are different types of Citrix licenses? User license. Device license. And. Concurrent connection license. How many license servers you have in your previous environment? 
One licensed server is enough, but some customers prefer to have more than one licensed server. You can define as per your past experience. What are some versions of Storefront you have worked on? As of today, followings are some examples. Storefront 3.1 3.2 3.4 What are some versions of Netscaler you worked on? Followings are some versions you can tell as per your past experiences. Netscaler 10 10.5 11 12 Which Netscaler types you have experience working on? MPX, this is the hardware appliance. VPX, this is a virtual appliance. SDX, this platform is a hardware appliance that enables you to run virtual instances of Citrix ADC. How do you connect to servers in different locations usually? We connect to jump server or management server or admin server first. From the above servers, you take RDP to machines that are in different locations. What are some monitoring tools you can use in Citrix environment? Those can be Citrix Director Citrix Healthcare Assistant CDF Trace Citrix Scout Citrix XDPing Procmon Dynatrace Scum How do you connect to a remote physical server when it's down? Through ILO, Integrated Lights Out, on HP servers. DRAC Dell Remote Access Control, on Dell servers. IBM uses IMM, Integrated Management Module. Intel uses RMM2, Remote Management 2. And Sun, now Oracle, uses ILOM, Integrated Lights Out Manager. What is SSO or Single Sign-On in Citrix? SSO helps to connect with all applications without typing the credentials to every individual application in Citrix environment. Single Sign-On, SSO, is an authentication capability that lets users access multiple applications with one set of sign-in credentials. With SSO, users can save time by accessing all their VDI, enterprise, web and SaaS applications, as well as other corporate resources like network file shares with only one set of credentials. Have you ever raised a case with Citrix? Please be honest on this answer and if you had open case with Citrix, please explain with examples. Please tell us one scenario where you have solved a critical issue. Please share a real scenario in your experience which helped to solve a major issue in Citrix environment. Speak about how you have demonstrated skills to take things under control, and how you went above and beyond to solve a P1 or P2 issue. Use storytelling, make it sound quite natural and be honest while answering these questions. <laughs>